Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Is that an intro? I think that's an intro. I'm Adina MUA, and if this is your first time here, So just gonna jump straight into it for today's video. Um, I did a little Twitter foundation for a day test with this new, well, new to me, Lancome foundation, the Tinty Doll Ultra Wear. Uh, this is one of the foundations you guys recommended to me. I got the chance to actually wear it out for a full day. And I went ahead and took some pictures at the end of the day of the finish and I posted it on Twitter, here you go. And a lot of you guys surprisingly gave me a lot of love on the finish and my complexion, which is pretty dope because I'm not known well, I don't even know what I'm known for. Fuck. But I'm not known for like complexion, but I'm pretty proud of it. So I figured, hey, why not do like an updated little foundation complexion routine so you guys can see how I got this. Um, If you're interested, go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, let me put this down. This shit was a lot of money. Please, please, please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It is free, gratis, and 0% interest as always. It'll mean a lot. And also a nice old thumbs up if you like what you see by the end, very much appreciated, and let's get moving. So on that day in particular, I actually went in with this Tatcha Soap Candace Primer. Oh my god, I scraped all that off. Yeah, I'm going to hell. Fuck. We're gonna make this work. I cannot waste all that money. I just put like $8 worth of primer on my face. Okay, so I'm just pressing it into my skin. Damn, dude, I really scraped into this pot. I didn't even notice how much I took out. So I'm livid, <laughs> but okay, we're primed, that's for sure. All right, so moving on after being wasteful, I'm gonna go in with this uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm just gonna go ahead and color correct. I didn't do this for the look I showed you guys earlier. I just wanted to give the foundation a fair chance to like see the coverage and how much it fades over time. But naturally, if I was gonna go for like a full B, I would color correct, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so now we're jumping into the foundation in question, which is, again, the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear. I don't know if you guys heard anything yet. Real quick, just disclaimer. There's some kids upstairs body slamming cockroaches, so if you hear that on camera, I apologize. I can't really control what they do up there. So please bear with me. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and put... So we're just gonna go ahead and put this on. Now, one thing I do wanna put you guys on, which is at a better price point. For those pictures, I actually blended out my foundation using this little sponge right here. Let me see if I can get it in focus for y'all. So I actually blended out my foundation using this sponge right here. It has like the little velvety kind of finish. I found these on AliExpress for like $2. And the first time I used it, amazing this is a clean one i used it before but for the sake of video i want to show y'all how it is as is and it was good enough that i ordered like four more after that one so i'm gonna see if i remember to link it in the description below definitely pick you guys up one of these try it out definitely worth it super soft and it just gives the foundation like a nice finish to me i don't know maybe it's all in my head but girl it's better than 20 dollars sponge i'll tell you that okay i just want to bring you guys in a little bit so you can see this foundation application process so i'm just gonna take two pumps at first i'm pretty sure i used more because i have a fat ass face and then you're just gonna go in i'm just gonna do half of my face so you guys can see how sickening this is so on sephora this foundation claims to be oil free long wearing delivers a buildable coverage and leaves a natural looking velvety matte finish for up to 24 hours the coverage is medium to full it's a soft matte finish so i would say like a demi matte so you don't have to worry about it like drying you out like crazy you know just put on a nice moisturizer beforehand and it's good for normal dry combination and oily skin now if you're super dry maybe you can get away with it like i said use a nice moisturizer free of fragrances so if you're sensitive to that you're good available in 45 shades look at that match that looks so good so for concealer i've yet to find a replacement um again the born this way too faced multi-use sculpting concealer is that girl so i'm just going to be going in with her today and we're just going to do a little bit of are you kidding me when this firefox update that was so unnecessary the devil tried it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some slight highlighting. This shade isn't crazy. 
So this is gonna be like a subtle little brightness under the eye so I don't look totally dead. While we're waiting for this to settle and do what it's gotta do, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows. For this look in particular, I didn't do anything crazy. I um, actually just used a brow pencil. This is the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil. Just a few little swipes here and there and you're good. So I'll be right back. All right, so the brows are on and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer. All right, so from here on, we're gonna get into powders. To set my under eyes, I actually went in with the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty who? What's it called again? The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. Um, I got the shade Banana, and I actually set it with a brush for that look, surprisingly. I just heard a little bit goes a long way, so I didn't wanna risk using a sponge and potentially just like drying myself out completely because I have very, very dry prone under eyes, if that makes sense. So I'm just taking a nice little fluffy brush like this. I'm just gonna dab some right under my eyes. Always make sure to lend out any creased concealer before you set it, because once you put the powder on, it's kind of a done deal so do that so now for my favorite part we're gonna be going in with <laughs> yes ma'am can we like give her a moment hello so to set the rest of my face I'll be going in with the Charlotte raspberry micro powder let me stop this is the Charlotte Tilbury micro face powder I believe um, does it say it on the name oh skin perfecting micro powder I wasn't that off that's the airbrush flawless finish Charlotte if you see this I'm just kidding we love you we stand this to set the face is Kohl's. I don't remember exactly who I saw hype it up, but thank you. It leaves such an amazing finish. And then once you like go over with setting spray and it just melts, it's sickening. Definitely worth the investment because she is not cheap. So I'm just taking it on this little brush right here and I'm just pushing it into the face. I'll even put it on top of the Fenty powder. Like it's just good for everything. All right, so we can all see that my eyes are creasing but for a natural wear day um this doesn't bother me i usually wear glasses and then i'm looking like this all the time so you can't really see it i don't walk around you know bird boxing and shit all right so this is going to be a little more bougie i actually went in for this look using two setting sprays so first i went in with the tatcha luminous dewy skin mist now this is going to give you the dewy look and because i'm using a matte finish foundation this kind of like counters it i still get the power and like a grip of a matte foundation but with a more dewy finish so it makes sense in my head and it looked good so Okay, so I want to apologize. I'm still learning how to use this camera, this setup, this program. Uh, it randomly stopped recording. So I'm just gonna go over everything and give you like my final thoughts on products and wrap this video up legitimately. I'm sorry. After I went in with the Tatcha spray, I went in with this Morphe setting spray, the continuous setting spray. It's been sold out everywhere, but I finally found one of them in Ulta, and when I got home, used it for the first time, I bought four more. This is the shit. I'm actually gonna use some more. Ooh, I don't know if you're allowed to breathe it in. Oh, okay. But yeah, I love it. It's awesome. I don't know if it gives you any benefits, but it feels good to me. It's my money, so. Um, after setting spray, I went in with lips. Since we're going for the whole radiant glowing from within look, I just wanted to go in with the Fenty Gloss Balm just to give my lips some sheen and to go with the face. You can never go wrong with Fenty Gloss Balm. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some out. That shit good as fuck. And then right after when your setting spray is like set and not as wet anymore, I went in with the ABH Amrezy, Amrezy, Amrezy highlighter. It gives me like a nice glow. Um, the shine, it, I feel like it matches my natural shine, if that makes sense. So it's not really giving me color, just light. And I just go ahead and put it on my high points and I bring it down my cheek right here because I have my beard like right here. I feel like it like, it just goes nicely with my shape and it just gives me like that whole like rounded glow, if that makes sense. Um, people with beards can relate. I just bring it up here to my temple above my eyebrow and I just bring it up to my hairline, bring it back down, blend, blend, blend. I did the point of my nose and then I did this little spot right here between my eyes. Make sure it's really nicely blended and you get this nice little seamless wet grape look. Okay, so before my camera stops recording randomly, um, after I applied highlighter, I just went in with a second coat of Morphe. Then I take my fan and quickly set it, and you're done. So y'all see the skin? Y'all see that color match? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up before my camera blows up. Thank you guys again for watching. If you made it this far, you're a real one. I'm so grateful. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my socials, mostly Twitter. This is usually where I'm cursing out somebody or having a mental breakdown. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So have a great one. I love you and bye. Mm. Ew.